Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Quasimorph. This is the prologue, I think, for uh, the full game Quasimorph. Um, this is End of Dream. Uh, this is a follow-up or at least a, a, a more complete version of a game I pr played previously called Quasimorphosis, I think it was called. Uh, it's a little bit like Jupiter Hell, um, but it has undergone some, some major ish changes this is actually a fairly blind play i uh, i i only read that it is now a extraction rpg um with like traditional roguelike elements so that actually excites me quite a bit let's uh let's jump into it i like the idea of that oh this is a uh, kind of novel Woo. neat What, uh, what are we doing? Good evening, boss. We've just received data from our consultants at Ancom. Your, the key points have been transmitted to your tablet. In, in short, a classic asset takeover of a corporation that has lost influence has begun on Venus. The victim, um, that's going really fast. I cannot read all that. That's what we're here for. That's the grand prize for Ancom. The bad news is that it's also the grand prize for everyone else. Okay. So, uh, our system map is quite linear, I think. Uh, we're here on Venus, I guess. Could we have gone... We could have. We could go to Mercury. I'm not sure what the... What we're doing here. Ah, I see. Flower Dream. Fresco Platforms. Objective. Find data on Fresco's research. Details. Encom has provided us with the coordinates of an as yet unattacked outpost belonging to Fresco, region Demeter's Corona. It could uh, literally be a quasi-morphosis research lab. Analysts believe that research, uh, valuable research information may be there. The key mission objective is to find and retrieve the data. Okay. Can, uh, oh. Francis Raid Daily. Clone. Okay. Class. Scouts of Hades or Eclipse Blades. Uh, we get a bundle of skills with either of these. Let's just pick Scouts of Hades, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in fairly blind. I'm probably gonna die, um, and that's fine. <clears throat> oh, I see. We can we can pick some equipment. Uh, I guess for this like like prologue mission, they're gonna give us equipment, but uh, the fact that they've they've uh, call this an extraction game uh i would assume that we, we we could build up some pretty you know good equipment and then uh you know take them take them down to new future missions um i i like the extraction genre as a format for other games i feel like the extraction game and i'm, I'm really uh trying not to say extraction shooter uh, but i really think the extraction game genre is kind of um it's the new roguelike in a way, you know, like it's the it's we're basically reformatting um, a lot of our our mainstay games as a roguelike because when you think about the extraction shooter, all you're really saying is like there's permadeath, uh, you can lose some valuable stuff, uh, you get to keep what you you know you get so there's like there is meta progression so we're keeping that element from uh, you know roguelites. Can we have another backpack? No, what is this? Empty vest slot. Oh, can I put a can I, no, I can't put anything. What can I put there? What can I put on our vest? I don't know. Uh, bandages? No. Splint? Can I put anything there? I don't know. I don't have a helmet. <clears throat> so I guess that's kind of my hot take is, uh, you know, and I, I, I like it. I like the extract. I like an extraction game more than I like a roguelite because roguelites are kind of pretending they're they're rpgs pretending to be roguelikes um because they they give you this promise of a roguelike but really all they're they are is like you know this big meta progression fest um but i like extraction shooters because they put the risk back into the roguelike roguelike uh genre because um your death actually has meaning again and your meta progression is built on a uh, on top of your success rather than on top of your failure um, so, okay, so we have numpad. Uh, I always love when, uh, uh, you know, a good old rogue-like, or traditional roguelike use the, uh, makes use of the, the, the numpad. 
Um, not yet sure if I can interact with some of these things. I was hoping I could open this, but I'm not sure if I can. It doesn't look like it. <clears throat> so if you uh, watched my... Okay, we can open some things. Uh, my, my let's try of quasi-morphosis. This is kind of like a, you know, you're exploring a space station and there are zombies. There's also crafting. Um, and, uh, it was pretty nasty, uh, in a good way. Like, it's, it's quite dark and, and violent. Enemies can also use offensive grenades, of course. They do it much more, uh, much worse than our operatives, but there are also, uh, exceptions. To avoid getting hit by shrapnel, it's better to move to a safe distance and find cover. So what is this? Oh, wow, a machete. Machete. We'll take that. So that was, uh, some enemy using a grenade, maybe? Uh, insulating tape. I may have taken too much ammo, but, you know, I, I felt like, um... I should take, you know, enough ammo that I don't have to worry about it, basically, ever. Um, I'm hitting five in the hopes that it is waiting, but I don't think it is. Bodybuilding increased by level two. Oh, God! Oh, wow, that really shocked me. He threw a grenade at my ship. That's not good. What is okay? What do we got? Combat focus, dodge chance plus forty percent, blind fury. I'll resist plus two, uh, negative two hundred percent, but more damage. Let's try that. Can I try that? I'm I'm clicking it. It's not letting me. Can I do combat focus? Not letting me do that either. Uh, it might be that these are things I already have enabled. Wow. Someone behind him shot him? Where's my gun? What happened to my gun? It became unequipped. Yo, I think my arm got blown off. I don't have an arm anymore. And yet, I don't have an arm and yet I, I scream. Um, skin, human organ, big bone. Good lord. What is this on the floor? Oh, that's, I think that's my stuff. Oh, we can, uh, okay, for some reason I can take it, pick it up again. Oh, God, I actually killed something. It's not going well, I will say. What is uh, this operation management minimap? Let's have a look at the minimap, okay. Yeah, that's a minimap, all right. Uh, our health monitor displays outlook not so good. Can we uh, heal ourselves? Shoulder amputated. Shoulder amputated. Weapon slot blocked. Arm amputated. Negative 50% accuracy. Good God. Yo, this is kind of legit. Uh, I was wondering if I could maybe use the uh, insulating tape to tape my arm back on, but I don't think that's right. I, can I leave? The multi-purpose ship that allows you to freely move over short distances to space in space and enter the atmosphere of planets yo but can i leave though it's not letting me leave oh god oh i can actually go go into this dirt i can't tell if maybe that's a, a human or another zombie I'm an awful, awful shot. Many weapons consume ammunition and need to be reloaded. Avoid doing this in the midst of battle because you become vulnerable during the reloading process. Try to find cover. Okay. Reloading. Uh, I don't think there's a wait button. And if there is, maybe, maybe, yeah, okay. It might be space. What, is, oh, normal walking type action per turn. I'm not sure if I am I waiting. I think so. Yeah, I think space is wait. I'm gonna double check that. Uh, never mind. I'm not gonna check that because there's no keybind. Help. Let's look at help. 
numpad move space skip turn there we go open enemy inventory take from okay so we're good wait 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 what, what was that on screen keys health character class mini map switch primary okay what does health do for us okay it just does that all right i would really like to hit something ah uh, injuries are common in combat situations the first priority is to treat the wound you can use bandages splints or even ordinary rags for that to obtain a rag tear up any un unnecessary clothing auto ducts and surgical kits allow you to immediately heal any wound okay uh probably i should have done something about it. did i not take any bandages i don't think i did uh i think we're i think yeah we're, we're about to die for sure the body of agent b2 a 860 was found with numerous wounds rest in peace can you imagine like waking up and actually you're a clone let's try this again clone uh let's try eclipse blades this time and actually let's read some of these <clears throat> dodge chance plus 40 percent activating attacking a player whether hit or not activates the trigger each trigger activation gives 10 experience activation costs 50 hunger um hmm. a successful attack on a player activates the trigger blind fury each trigger activation gives 10 experience okay so this is interesting these skills actually give you experience each turn of running gives one plus two health bodybuilding oh i see each time any amount of damage is absorbed by resistance is gained one experience this is a very interesting way of doing uh player progression i have never seen this done before i've seen um like uh you know games where using particular skills will uh you know build uh, experience for sure but like not in this way um so this is this is actually really cool uh let's try being a little bit more um picky choosy with our inventory space i'm only going to take we'll take two rounds and i'm going to take some bandages and splints and some food and that should be good we've got a gun uh we'll take some more food and this should be good enough We'll drop you right off at one of Fresco's loading platforms. The host party is mercenaries from the Trifton PMC. Not the toughest guys, but be careful. They're armed and trained to pile in from all sides. Don't waste too much time on them. Remember, our goal is to get information and get out as soon as possible. NCOM's analysts are warning about heavy defense. Get off the loading platform as soon as you as possible. Your target is the station. You will find information there. Okay. <clears throat> So far, I, I think this is really cool. This is a, a, a fresh take on the, the traditional roguelike, and I am a super for that. So I wonder if this, uh, is it is it generating a completely new version of this station, or is it something different? Uh, I'm going to drop one of these bandages because we found some medical glue. That actually might help us more than just another pile of bandages we do need to find the information yeah this is different okay so we have uh we have we do have procedural gener generation we can click to move i don't know how good that is oh builder industrial nail gun okay drop in drop in something for that absolutely want to sh try the nail gun that's pretty legit anything in there no okay moving on bodybuilder increased to level two uh those are some spiders can we shoot the spiders yeah we can already feeling pretty good about our weapon choice right now this spider has cover 
Not too worried. I'm not going to be super conservative with our ammo. I don't like that I can't see it right now. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh. All right, let's back up a bit. I kind of wish num five was a uh, skip turn or at least the space and num five. I don't like that. Uh, I have to switch hand configurations. Get behind cover. I got a free shot off there. That was pretty good. Got that spider. There's some armor over there. I don't know how to turn around. I managed to kill this person. Okay, so we got a Storm TT submachine gun. Oh, uh, my, my hoarding instincts are kicking in. I definitely want to be able to, you know, like pick up everything. Um, let's put this here. We'll definitely take this armored jacket. That's got to be better than whatever we're using. Sneakers, condition 4050, resist bluffed, uh, blunt, uh, resistance, uh, cold. I think they're probably not as good as what we're currently wearing. Um, resistant, uh, blunt. I don't, maybe actually, okay, yeah, um, the, the armor jacket is actually better than what we're wearing. Dead, good. This is the same as you, an operative of some PMC. The only difference is that she works for someone else. There are no differences. Oh, well, we got like a lava. Is that a crafting station? Oh God. Oh, that, that shocked me. Nice. All right. That, that felt pretty good. Resources. Product list. Now are these things we can make? Workbench. Can we make a first aid kit? So there's crafting in this game. Info. A simple table with a minimum uh, of necessary tools to create simple objects. Dot description. Okay. Um, can I make medical glue? I kind of don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. We're going to leave that for now. Nothing in there. Oh, God. Uh, we have a fracture. Ow! We just need to kill this person and then I'll heal. Okay. Um, all right. We've got plenty of things to heal ourselves with. Let's use a splint. Heals fractures, regeneration. Yeah, let's use that we'll use a couple of splints i don't know if that's actually going to help us stomach rupture stun infection progress 60 percent uh, infection progress great remains 10 turns stabilized wound um heals pierce wounds heals burn wounds this is a rupture i'm not sure what kind of um wound this is can we use this on our no i guess i already used a splint Splint on your stomach wound doesn't really make sense to me. Let's, uh... Okay, that infection is getting worse. Yep. Yes, it is. Okay, let's see if we can't heal it. Nope. Bandage. All right, that's not working. Um... Let's see how bad it gets. I might die from an infection. Oh, it actually got better. No negative effects. Wow. I am shocked. Okay, we got a cool uh, barrel over there. We might be able to do something with that. We've got a Hydra 47 tactical pistol. Can we eat some food? Probably we should eat some food. Um, let's drop our eagle pistol since we have like infinite of those. And uh, whoops, did I just drop it? Yeah, I did. Because, uh, you know, this being an extraction game and all, I would like to 
uh, hoard a little bit so that I, I build up an arsenal for future games or future. Ooh, uh, I made a mistake there. Very, very bad form to. Uh, it's been a while since I played a traditional roguelike to uh, like move without looking at what's going on. You want to definitely make note of your surroundings. Oh my god, that is a grenade. I wanted to get as far away from the grenade as possible. They had a shotgun. Ooh. Oh, God. Uh, I, I, like, no longer have any room. Um, what do I do here? Let's, uh, we could, uh, uh I think that the move is honestly just to leave it for now. <clears throat> I should check every once in a while to make sure that they are actually dead. Can I shoot this? Can I, can I, I can't move. You can't move diagonally through, um, obstacles. Worth noting. Is this anything? My bodybuilding has increased. Um, I assume that means I'm getting some experience. Nine millimeter nails. I just realized that, uh, oh, hey, an actual first aid kit. Let's drop one of our splints in favor of that. I'm assuming I don't need to, to, to carry around as much food as I am. Let's uh, get behind some cover. Ow. That, uh, that ga getting shot at gives us experience. Let's uh, heal up. I'm not feeling super good. Oh, I'm actually okay. I mean, my my HP is not okay, but I don't have any adverse effects right now. I wonder if I can use that first aid kit. Yeah, yeah, we can. We can also disassemble things. I just noticed. Um, I guess we could have only disassembled the first aid kit. PMC ration. Eat it. Yummy. Oh, I guess we've okay. So we've got a calorie bar. I'm learning things. I I, I like uh, I appreciate a game. You know, like I I, I kind of don't like to look at tutorials sometimes because I find a bit more enjoyment in just sort of figuring things out. Uh, glass crafting component. Sure, I'll pick that up. I'm probably gonna drop it again real soon. We got another baddie. I am doing a horrible job shooting them. Ouch. There we go. They had another tactical pistol, not nothing else. Wonder if I can disassemble these. Yo, I can. But like, how, <clears throat> how do I uh, go about taking this stuff? Rubber. Um. So yeah, I, I could I could have been disassembling guns like this whole time. So we could disassemble this gun here. That's gonna give us more weapon parts. Uh that's that's actually really cool. Okay, so oh Spider Town. We are in Spider Town. Oh, good. Managed to kill them. I don't know if you can get parts from this. This creature is a GMO organism created to balance the ecology of Venus. It turned out that quasimorphosis affects them too. All right, let's disassemble this. Get some more stuff. We could take some plastic. I am trying to... I guess we should choose um, one of our guns. What does this use? Oh, good. This uses a 9mm? Yeah. So why don't we go ahead and disassemble this Hydra tactical pistol and then we can start actually picking up um, crafting materials. And then maybe later we can figure out if we can craft anything. Ow! I'm not sure how to turn. Um, let's see, is there a way to turn around? Shift left click to shoot in the direction. Uh, right click show information. Mouse wheel zoom in zoom out. Minimap, switch primary. It doesn't seem like there's a way to, like, turn around.
I guess I could shoot in that direction. Ouch. Okay, that worked out. <clears throat> and they got a first aid kit. How are we doing for health? We're actually at full health, amazingly. So, um, I mean, I'll pick up this first, first aid kit anyway. Uh, Cosmos pack of cigarettes reduces quasimorphosis. They had an eagle uh, pistol, so we might as well um, disassemble that. Oh, we got 9mm nails. That's amazing, actually, because I'm pretty sure we uh, that, that that's what we use that for our uh, gun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and eat this food. We don't need all that food, but that's fine. Uh, I'm getting I'm getting kind of hoardy right now. Reduced max condition capacity one of ten. I don't know. I guess I'll leave that for now. Wonder if you can disassemble clothing as well. Yeah, you can. And that gives us rags. I'm I'm learning all kinds of things right now. I think that learning the crafting system in this game is definitely something you're gonna want to do. Um, what's the mini map looking like? I haven't yet found our objective. But I, I'm certainly surviving a little bit longer this time. Ooh, that looks, uh, good. Scanner mechanism. Station terminal allows you to locate objects, personal, or elevator. Use scanner. Uh. Use, use scanner? I don't know what I'm scanning. can't really close it once you've oh you can okay never mind it closes on its own weapon damage weapons have a tendency to break with regular and active use to repair them you can disassemble unnecessary other unnecessary weaponry or use a repair kit repair kits can be assembled from improvised materials and field conditions you just need to find a workbench well that's not a really this is not a good time to uh have your gun break so we're gonna go ahead and swap uh to a different gun just for now where did he go okay there he is oh there's two of them this is one of those types of guns where um it uh it doesn't do a lot of damage but it has a higher chance of hitting Nice. Good stuff. That looks like a grenade. Stun grenade. Ooh, yeah. Let's drop our... Well, we'll eat, we may as well eat our food. I'm going to start... Oh, can we... Oh, we can't I disassemble these. Can we... Um, I don't know if I can craft on the spot. I don't think I can. So what do you have? You have another Storm TT. We can unload that and uh, put some of that ammo in our in our gun. We can disassemble it, grab some more stuff. What do you have? Tactical pistol, definitely going to disassemble that. <clears throat> Gonna load, um, you know, any ammo I find. What may as well do that. Okay, this this isn't as uh, definitive as I was hoping it would be. There's actually nothing here. Where am I supposed to be going? I've explored basically the whole station. Plastic, tin, mercenary corpse. Did I go in here? I don't know if I did. All right, let's uh, go and check out that little room. At least um, I'm building up my bodybuilding. Yeah, th I don't think I entered this room. What is this? Fragmentation grenade. Uh, yeah, I, I want I want that. Um, I don't want really feel good about dropping ammo. Uh, I guess uh, I could drop these bandages in favor of a grenade. I wonder if I could uh, just equip the grenade.
I don't know how to use the grenade. Wait a minute. Single fire? Oh, that's interesting. We're in fire mode. Okay, I actually really like that. That's really cool. So you have like a uh, single fire and semi. Okay, a massive moving platform that allows you to move between levels at the station. Wow, we have a second floor. I honestly was not expecting that. Station scan data confirms the location of the lab in the lower levels. We're looking for something small, most likely a portable laptop computer of one of the leading scientists in this lab or something similar. Try not to destroy the this equipment in the process of clearing. Okay, what do we got here? Auto dock mechanism. Automatis, uh, autonomous healing station for health restoration requires charging use. We're actually at full health right now. I'm feeling pretty good uh right now i i am really enjoying this i did not expect um i, I kind of bounced off of quasimorphosis a little bit this looks like a prime moment for a grenade uh good luck figuring out how to use it bodybuilding each turn of running gives zero hardening each time any amount of damage is absorbed by resistances gain one experience pain immunity pain shock above 70 percent activates uh, the trigger I do really like the the fact that these um, actions, these active abilities actually give you experience. That's a really cool way of doing things. And it gives you like an extra hit of uh, dopamine when you actually get these to trigger because you're not just like getting a cool passive, you're also um, getting some extra experience. Now, how in the world do I use my grenade? Uh, might be in the help. Open enemy inventory, take from the... Uh, no, no. Numpad, move. Character maps, swi switch primary, secondary weapon, or fist, no secondary. Reload inventory. Select items in the unload slots. Oh, I wonder if I could put it, like, here. Oh, yeah, there we go. I want to throw it, like, here. Uh, don't tell me that that grenade actually doesn't work. Why isn't it working? Yo, grenade- there we go. Yes! What the heck is that? Alright. This is skinned. Ew. Twisted and distorted human body without skin. Yeah, this game gets dark. T-shirt. Um, we are carrying rubber. We're not carrying cloth. Let's uh, go ahead and load as many bullets into that, our gun as we can. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop the rest. Could be a mistake. Oh, we got a water bottle. I don't know if that's actually going to do any good for us, but I want to disassemble clothing for them, them cloths. We've got nails, uh, not really good for us anymore. We've got a nail gun. We can disassemble that. We can disassemble the nails as well. I wonder if we... Oh, powder, plastic... I guess you can only, yeah, you can only carry three plastic. It's same for rubber. I'm just, uh, you know, I, I, I'm interested by uh, crafting systems. Oh, God. Um... Was not expecting that. Can we switch our primary? I don't really want to hit this guy with my fist, but I guess I will. Um, what's our primary? Or how do we switch our primary? S. We don't have a primary, apparently. So I'm just going to run away for the time being. While I reload. Nice. I was able to turn around and shoot the guy. That was actually really decent. I guess, uh, like, 
um, your direction and vision is like a major mechanic in this game. So these are like the mainstay uh, kind of enemies of this game. How um, can we put this like here? No. How do we switch our primary? How do we have a secondary even? These are these are questions I have. Can I I can take these or I could I can't disassemble them. Lots of stuff on the ground. We have a snick pick. Eat it. We have a rag. Stabilize wound. Oh, interesting. Well, we don't have any wound. We did take a little bit of damage though. And we'll go ahead and disassemble some more stuff. I really hope I make it through this. I'm feeling I'm feeling very good about um, what I've accomplished here so far. Gonna reload. I hope that doesn't just like drop a bunch of ammo and and you you know like you. Ah uh, oh ow, oh that's not good. We have a rupture. Oh God, what is that? Uh, we need to st pierce wound, um, stabilizes the wound. Let's, let's see if we can do that real quick. Oh, is this door closed? Oops. Some wounds can become infected to prevent this using absorbent or antibiotics. Infected wound two decay damage remains four turns uh, Heals fractures. Oh, this would have been better heals pierce wounds probably would have should have used my medical glue um, Repairs cloth stabilizes the wound Open wound You can use cloth I don't know. It, it, it says stabilize wound, so all we can do is kind of hope. Bleeding. We're bleeding. Okay, it's it's turned back into an open wound. Let's use medical glue. If you didn't know, this is something that you c that that actually like kind of happens if in the field. Um, I've heard of people actually using super glue. Super glue is very effective for closing a wound. Apparently. Oh, we are we are not in a good way right now We're losing a lot of blood we're losing a lot of health Stabilized we died <laughs> blood poisoning dang well, that was a good run all the same. I uh, I did quite well, I think. Um, this is a really cool game. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, the full version looks like. I will I, I probably will be playing a lot more of this off camera, to be honest. Maybe even do like a short series of just the prologue. That'd be kind of fun. But uh, anyway, let me know uh, what what you would like to see from me, and maybe uh, go and check out Quasimorph End of Dream. The link will be in the description, and let me know what you think of it. Uh, in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.